I ask at this time that everyone stand and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance, and then please remain standing afterwards for the invocation from Fire Department Chaplain John Long. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please join me in a moment of silence as we remember Washington, D.C., District of Columbia, Lieutenant Kevin McRae, who perished yesterday while fighting the fire. Almighty, all-powerful God, we thank you for this beautiful weather you've given us today. Father, we thank you for the families who support those who are being promoted today. Father, we thank you for selecting these individuals and giving them div divine guidance and leadership skills as they promote into the new positions with the Anne Arundel County Fire Department. Father, we thank you for their dedication to the fire service, to assisting those who are in trouble and help them as they and lead, guide them as they answer the calls. Father, we ask that you be with us today as we celebrate this day of promotions. Let us be a joyous occasion and not that we honor you. We ask all in your name. Amen. Please be seated. I would like to introduce a few special guests who have joined us this morning. Seated to my right, Anne Arundel County Executive, the Honorable Steve Shue. Anne Arundel County Fire Chief Alan Graves. <laughs> Deputy Fire Chief John Scholes. <laughs> Deputy Chief Ron Strobel. <laughs> and Deputy Chief Scott Hoaglander. <laughs> also dispersed out in the crowd, we'd like to recognize Division Chief Lord Lee Cornwell. Division Chief Tim Michaels, Division Chief Ross Dinkle, Mr. John McDonough, the President of IAFF Local 1563, and Mr. Mike Smith, who's representing the Battalion Chiefs from Teamsters Local 355. It is now my pleasure to introduce our County Executive, the Honorable Steve Shu. We'll say a few words. Good morning. Such an honor to be here with the brave men and women of our fire service, uh, particularly to celebrate the achievement of about 30, 37, 37 members of the service uh, who've been promoted and are getting pinned today. Government, local government in particular, does does a lot of things. We we provide the water service, the waste treatment, the roads, things like that. But of all the things that we do, nothing is more fundamental or more important than public safety. That is the most important thing we do. And our fire service is part of uh, a, a six-legged stool that consists of our fire department, the police department, the office of the sheriff, the office of the state's attorney, Department of Detention Facilities and Parole and Probation. Those, those six organizations have to work as a unit to keep our county safe. And I'm really happy to, to the extent that they actually are working together. All those departments and offices are now part of a core group here in our county that, that meet regularly and work together and coordinate their efforts to assure that we deliver on our commitment to public safety. Now, within public service, within public safety, the fire service amazes me. Above all others, you guys, your bravery, your, your professionalism is on display. Every day we hear those engines or ambulances roaring by, sirens blazing. You charge into situations where the rest of us run away as fast as we can. You protect people and property from the ravages of fire. You save lives by providing emergency medical care and transport. And on behalf of every citizen of this county, I want to thank you for what you do every day. 
Our goal, our administration's objective, is to make Anne Arundel County the best place to live, work, and start a business in the state of Maryland. But to achieve that, we have to be the safest place to live, work, and start a business in Maryland. And you guys are a big part of that. And to make that goal a reality, we're making real investments throughout all sectors of public safety. There will be, as part of our budget, a 3% increase uh, in pay across the board for public safety. The rest of county government will be getting a 1% to 2% pay increase. That's part of a long-term effort and commitment of this administration to improve compensation and public safety uh, here in our county. We're going to be purchasing 182 public safety vehicles, including many new uh, ambulances. We'll be adding 20 additional police officers, filling 15 vacancies in the fire department, four state's attorneys, two sheriffs, deputies. We'll also be constructing a police academy and a central booking facility. These are major capital projects that I think taken together will contribute a lot to public safety in our county. So let me conclude by uh, congratulating those who are being pinned today. Uh, what a great effort, what a great day, and thank you for having me. Have a great day. Thank you, Mr. Shu. It's interesting, you asked how many promotions there were today, and as you were asking that, Chief Graves was telling me, if you don't get that mic fixed, it's only going to be 36. <laughs> that's, why, that's why there's a little bit of hesitation. Um, at this time, I would like to ask Chief Graves to come up and uh, say a few words. Good morning. Good morning. It's nice to see such a big crowd here for such an important occasion. So. Uh, I thank you for coming. Um, we hear about the word tradition. It brings to mind a number of things. Probably every one of us that is touched by at least one tradition. Uh, many are family oriented, uh, such as how we celebrate a holiday. Maybe it's the annual family reunion cookout or how we talk, talk, are taught to treat each other. Uh, in the fire service, we have many traditions as well. From the moment a new recruit is taken into the department family, in the fire service we have many traditions as well. From the moment a new recruit is taken into the department family, they are introduced to these fire service traditions. The, the traditions are important because they promote a high moral standing that's enjoyed by all of our members within the community. Fire service personnel are often looked upon as persons of integrity, having impeccable character, and as people who have earned public trust. In many cases, they are thought of as local heroes to the children of our communities. This is a high bar for us to reach, but our traditions help us to meet that expectation. As one of our family members moved to a new rank with new responsibilities, authority, respect, and accountability, one part of their life remains constant, and that's you, their family and friends. The fire department pinning ceremony is a tradition intended to symbolize the love, sacrifice, and support given freely by families of our members. During this ceremony, the family pins the newly promoted member into their new position. This act symbolically shows the support for the newly promoted member in their new position. Before we begin, we'd like to take an opportunity to recognize family and friends here today. Would all the family and friends here please stand. 